Hello, I'm Paul J. Goddard from Manchester and today I'm going to be conducting some interviews with the general public all about mental health, what their struggles are, how they cope, what they do in their day-to-day -day lives to manage their mental health capacity and how they get out of that ruck of thinking negatively about themselves. So let's break the stigma, make the difference, let's get people talking more. Cheers. Guys, how's it going? What's your names? Uh, I'm Cara. I'm Paul, nice to meet you, Cara. Nice to meet you. Hey, well, we're good to meet you guys. How's yeah. it going? Alright, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you very much. So I'm just doing a bit of a social experiment at the minute about, about mental health, what people think about mental health, how they, how they deal with mental health, and, and yeah, kind of what that, where, how they feel about it in general. So please tell me about using what your takes are on mental health and what you do within mental health if you do something within mental health. Um, so uh, I had a history of mental health problems when I was sort of like a teenager. Um, there was a lot more kind of like it was a lot more hidden growing up, I suppose, like in terms of like stigma and stuff. It was definitely something that people didn't want to like talk about and everything. Um, and then people as was afraid, wasn't they? Yeah, being and I think, judged and things like that. Yeah. yeah, definitely, and it was definitely something that like yeah, people wanted to like hide it if it went wrong and stuff. So um, yeah, it wasn't really spoken about. And then like as an adult, I got into working um, in the creative sector, and I was really interested in like how people express themselves. Uh, like their emotions through creative stuff so like art and theatre and music mm -hmm. and stuff like that so I got really into that and I started working in a psychiatric ward during the pandemic and um, where I did like activities so I used to get them doing like yoga I would put on a bit of David Attenborough no, nice. a bit, um... can't, can't, can't say no to a bit of David can you? <laughs> no 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 um, just like anything like relaxation based or like distraction based um, so I did that during the pandemic, which was, yeah, I think that like showed that there's still like a really long way to go. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's like probably one of particularly, I think in terms of like mental health care in hospital settings, it's probably one of the most neglected groups of people, I think, in this country. Um, I think that there needs to be a whole lot more funding to make sure that people can actually recover. Uh, and, and a comfortable, sure. safe environment. Yeah, and, and make sure that there's enough staff, like enough training for staff, like make sure the hospitals are nice environments, not like horrible, broken places. Um, yeah, just a lot more safety, a lot more like, patient nice care. Things. Yeah, overall, yeah, yeah. but not not the staff's fault, but more the the financial side of it. Yeah, I think um, it's not the staff's fault that they're being put in like a really, really difficult position, but then um, I think that they need more support. And uh, But yeah, because of that, I think that there's like a lot of like bad cultures and stuff within those work environments because people are under so much stress. Um, mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. Well, what about you, Rory? Um, yeah, obviously my name's Rory. Um, <laughs> pretty much what Kari said really, went through some mental health stuff growing up, probably didn't even recognize it, if that's what that was, but they didn't feel like the conversation was there around that. Um, and then, like now, for example. yeah, like now, and so I do like a lot right now, as exactly. yeah, like it's what we're doing right now. And I guess, like, now we've done, I've kind of worked with young people over like, the last 10 years, and a lot of that is opening that space up, kind of fighting that stigma against what we said around mental health and like the kind of creating spaces where people can come and talk and create around it and, and kind of use expression and creativity as a full form of kind of holistic therapy, yeah. Well, that's, that's what I feel myself, so. I come from a bit of a troubled background as such. I had a lot of um, anxieties and panic attacks and stuff right. growing up and things. And uh, I went to university and I found script writing. Oh, cool. And it's through that kind of form of connecting with myself. And, oh, amazing. And uh, I really enjoy writing. And I don't write as much scripts as I should do to get mental health at bay, but instead I, I exercise, cycle at times. Yeah, exercise is huge. So. I've always got like, a, a key focal point. And, and right now, this is my key focal point. Yeah. So I'll speak them out mental health right. issues in the world is healing my mental health issues yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah that's, how, that's right. how we should all talk really to be fair guys that's how we should all be getting along and, and putting word out there and engaging with each other and just being open you know if, can i plug something absolutely go and um, no. so at home manchester at the art gallery um, there's an exhibition on young people's mental health uh, called the barmy army project uh, which was part of manchester international festival um, we got a bunch of young people in Manchester um, talking about uh, how they'd like to be supported with their mental health um, and it's basically just like a big like burst of colour and ideas and 
it's kind of beautiful so if you want to go and see some work about young people's mental health go along to that yeah definitely head down there yeah amazing just go don't even just question it. Just go. go. It's free as well. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free. What about you? Got anything you want to plug? Um, well, I worked in that as well. So just yeah, we plug Barmy Army. Barmy yeah. Army. Army. It's just a like whole Manchester. Yeah. Which is just back down by the old uh, old two bits. <laughs> Far yeah. from there. And if you fancy some food, Bunny Jackson's is there. Some cheap chicken wings as well. That's true. That is true, isn't that is it? True. And the, the wings are good, aren't they? Yeah, yeah and yeah. I think right. they've got a vegan alternative. They do cauliflower wings. <laughs> 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 we have cauliflower wings now as well. Yeah, we do. That is true. But yeah, thanks for your time, That's guys. Right. Good, good luck with the bike, right? Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Good luck. Yeah, right. cheers. Great Have to meet you, Paul.